Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a tutorial for you guys on this look that I'm wearing right here, which is natural and glowing. It's like natural glowing glam. I love this look so much. I feel like this is so me. I am most comfortable like this. I'm like, ditch the liner, ditch the heavy eyeshadow. Let's keep things really just pretty and soft. There are still a lot of steps. It's not a no makeup makeup look by any means. There is some contouring. There is definitely a lot of glow placed here, there, everywhere on the skin. And I think it's a really pretty look that kind of balances, you know, natural and glam. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you requested this on Instagram, this is for you. I posted a very kind of natural makeup look with just a lot of wispy lash and you guys responded so positively and made my day. So thank you for that and let's hop into the tutorial. And we are starting out with two primers today. I'm using the Guerlain Makeup Base to firm everything, which is a favorite. I'm obsessed with this stuff. And then I am going to do a little pore minimization with my Dr. Brandt Pores No More, just pressing that in, patting that in, any areas that I wanna diffuse pores or fine lines. Then we are going in with this gem right here, the La Mer Concealer. This is in the shade Light, and I am putting this underneath my foundation today just so that I can make it not look so intensely light and have it provide some highlighting for me. So I am just focusing on that inner area of the eye where I get really dark, and then taking it down a little bit in that triangular shape just to bring my facial features forward and just pressing that in. Then I'm gonna take a contour cream from Make It Forever and I am just dabbing it on the back of my hand first just to kind of not make it so intense. I wanted it to be noticeable as a contour but sheer it out a little bit on the back of my hand and that seems to help things blend a little bit better too. So I am just focusing on cheekbones, perimeter of the face a tiny bit. I'm not making any large stripes on the forehead by any means. I'm just kind of creating a little bit of definition for my foundation to go on top of. And right here I am taking the Smashbox contour stick. I really enjoy doing this around the mouth. If I remember to do this before I put on foundation, the foundation will actually kind of conceal the contour and not make it look really harsh, but allow this shadow to be around your mouth and make your lips look much bigger. I'm also contouring the nose and I feel like I'm really pale right now. So I feel like my contour was a little bit intense maybe on the nose, but that's okay. I went with it. You just blend, 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 and you can make pretty much anything work. Then I'm taking MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Uh, I used to not like this stuff, but I think I watched so much Nikki tutorials that I was like, I need to give that a try again. So I am just blending this all over the lid to prime my eyelids. And then we are moving into foundation. I am taking my Beauty Blender Dampened and a new foundation from Lorac. This is in the shade PS4. This is their Sheer Perfection Foundation. And I have been playing around with this. And to set the under eye or bake the under eye because I mean I'm like I'm really going for it. I am using the La Mer The Powder and this powder is ridiculously awesome. I don't think I've ever used a better powder in my life. I am in a long-term committed relationship. We're like, we're getting married. That's it. The La Mer powder is the best. All right, moving on to a little drugstore gem that I recently discovered. This is from L'Oreal. This is their new brow stylist pencil. And I am just filling in my brows. I fast forwarded this part because I take a gosh darn eternity to fill in my eyebrows and we would be here and be bored for a while otherwise. So now I'm going to dust off my bake and I'm taking a little bit of Hourglass Ambient Powder that has just a tiny bit of a sheen. It's not sparkly, but I like to use that to kind of dust off my bake and it just helps things to look even more natural and diffused. Then I am taking the excess powder on the face and just blending that in softly everywhere. Moving on to a little bit of bronzer, I just for convenience sake went back in that hourglass palette and grabbed a little bit of the bronzer that is in there and lightly hit the perimeter. Then I am taking MAC Peaches and I am rosying up the apples of the cheeks. 
With a look like this where you know you're going to be minimal on the eyes, I do go a little bit heavier on the blush and make things look really, really flushed. Then I am taking one of my favorite liners from Makeup Forever and I am focusing on really building that color on the cupid's bow. I find that with all the contour, etc., if you really build up the lip line there, it just looks better. And then I am dabbing on a matte lipstick from Lorac. This is from their new spring launch and I forget the name of it, but I will put it in the down bar. This gloss, however, is in the shade Bombshell and it has quickly become a favorite. I love this. It just makes your lips look so pretty and fresh and glossy. And now back to the face because we must highlight. This is a glow, like glow, glow look. So I am hitting those cheekbones with a pretty heavy hand of this strobing powder from Hourglass. It's really pretty. I am playing around with these. They are a new launch. I am going to be doing a hot or not very, very soon. And I'm just taking it a little bit down the nose as well, and even a little bit underneath the uh, eyebrows and on top there. I just want the face to glow. So now I am setting everything with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, and we are moving on to eyes which are super, super simple. This is like the easiest thing in the world. I'm taking a little bit of Lorac eyeshadow, just like soft transition shades, that furthest row to the right. And I am just fluffing that in the crease. You wanna make sure that you go kind of in a downward motion and not straight up. That way you can really get the color actually in the crease and a little bit above. Then for the lid, we are taking Puppy Love from ColourPop, which is so pretty. It's like this bright, peachy, iridescent, just gorgeous color. And I am literally just patting that on with my fingertips and it is going to brighten this whole look right up. Then I'm curling my lashes because this look is very much all about the lashes. I did remove some of that puppy love, so I went back in with a brush and made sure that there were no bald spots from where that lash curler hit my eyelid. So just making sure everything looks perfect. Then I am moving into my favorite mascara, the Chantecaille Faux Sills Longest Lash Mascara that has made my lashes grow quite a bit. I am really into it. I think I probably will purchase another tube of this because it has been so good to me and it's really helped my lashes out a lot. So I definitely did all I could with mascara, but then I wanted to go in with a little extra va va voom. So I am taking the Barb Lashes from Flutter Lashes, and I'm sorry that I went out of focus. You know, when you have nothing going on liner wise on the lid, you wanna make sure that you really get that lash band as close to the lash line as possible. So now I am taking a little bit of the same shades we put in the crease and just running that on the lower lash line and making sure everything just looks really balanced and even. And then I'm taking the shimmery shade from this Lorac Nude Necessities palette and I'm going to brighten up the inner corners of the eye and just set off more glow with this look. This look is entirely about flushed cheeks and a ton of lash. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is super easy to do. You don't have to do heavy contouring and highlighting. If you want to make this even more simple, go for that, try it out. And thank you so much for watching. If you like tutorials from me, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.